So after catching a great variety of fish throughout the day, it was time to head back to the dock. And on the way back to the dock, we spotted a very healthy sargasm weed line, very, very long one, and uh, we decided to try for sailfish. So when we were heading in, we came across a weed line, and it's the perfect kind of weeds to be trolling on. It was sargasm grass. And the reason sargasm grass is such an awesome grass to troll on is because it just holds so much bait and so many fish, as well as a ton of game fish, and that's why we troll along that. The things that make a weed line is when a current and wind kind of oppose each other, and they push the weeds together to form a perfect weed line. And that's exactly what we found, so we decided to troll on it a little bit and see if we could find a sailfish. the weed line and in less than two minutes we got a bite. Pretty excited we got a shellfish on right now. We got queen snapper today. I have to go behind you sorry. The sailfish was a pretty good sized sailfish and it took me all around the boat. It fought really hard, it was definitely not giving up. It was taking drag. Every time it was close to the boat, it would swim down and try to get away. <laughs> so it was a blast to fight it. All right, you see what he's doing? He's swimming all over the place, swimming at the motor. So you're gonna control him one time and make, I'm not even gonna attempt to grab him when he's in this position. Fighting a sailfish, in my opinion, is just a blast. It's their incredible jumps and their colors and how fast they are. They're actually the fastest fish in the ocean. And it's, it's such an adrenaline rush. And every time I catch a sailfish, it's like the first time I've ever caught one. The reason we're taking our time with the sailfish is because there's only 30 pound top knot leader on here from Yozuri, which is fantastic leader. But with any 30 pound leader, it's going to chafe easy on the bill of a sailfish. And we really don't want to lose this guy. Yeah, he's got a little kick in him still. Oh, yeah. To me, it's just an incredible feeling to be able to hook one and actually land one. Every single sailfish that we catch is catch and release. Real easy with, let me just ease him in here. But when I got him within grabbing distance, I went ahead and got my hands on him and pulled him up in the boat to show him off. All right. There's your sailfish, Louisa. Woo! <laughs> Another what? beauty, huh? Yeah, what a fight. He huh? definitely put up a show, jumped a bunch. Look at that. The hook came out of his mouth, had him hooked in the side of the face. And I'm gonna have you get that line off me because I got one hand that has to hold that bill or I'll get it. Good. There we go, just didn't want that hook to land in me. Don't want to hurt the fish either, but there he is. Beautiful fish. You want to kick it in slow forward, Dave? It's a good idea to wear a pair of gloves when you're landing sailfish, like the Cressy Tropical gloves that I use. Those are actually used for diving and spear fishing, but they're excellent gloves for landing a billfish because they do have very rough bills. It's actually a lot rougher than sandpaper, and if they're slashing all over the place and you're holding onto their bill, it could really tear your hands up a little bit. So it is a good idea to have a good pair of gloves on when you're catching sailfish. It's ready to swim off. We put up a good fight. And if you ever want to catch a sailfish, queen snapper, kingfish, any of these fish that you've seen here, give Captain Dave Jones a call. He will put you on the fish.